Asthma is a serious health problem in the United States that affects approximately 26 million Americans, including 7.1 million children. May is Asthma and Allergy Awareness Month, and as the parents of many asthmatic children probably already know, there is no cure. But the good news is asthma can be controlled with a few lifestyle changes and by making sure you're taking your medication correctly. And with us to discuss all this and more is allergist Dr. Jacqueline agrari Savet, founder and medical director of Family Allergy and Asthma Care in Maryland, and Tanya Winders, CEO of Allergy and Asthma Network Mothers of Asthmatics. Good morning to both of you. Thank you. Fantastic to have you here. And doctor, I want to um, turn to you first. Everybody sure. calls you Dr. Jackie. Um, there are a lot of misconceptions about asthma. Can you tell us what asthma is and how it affects those who have it? Sure. Well, first of all, it's a chronic disease, meaning you have it every day. And the symptoms are cough or shortness of breath or wheeze. What happens to the lungs actually is the inside of the lung gets all swollen and inflamed mm. and full of mucus. The outside of the lung has a group of muscles that are wrapped around that squeeze and tighten and that's what can actually cause you to have the attack. Well, So what exactly does this mean for patients who have it and what do they really need to know? They need to know they can live totally normal lives. They can go to work, they can go to school, they can be on the track team if that's what they want to do. They need to realize that they have to manage their asthma with daily, daily medication and that they can really lessen those attacks as a result. So good to know. And Tanya, what do parents of asthmatics need to know about keeping asthma under control? Parents and caregivers and patients specifically need an asthma action plan. Mm. An asthma action plan is a single document that sort of outlines the signs and symptoms of asthma as well as the specific triggers for each individual patient. The asthma action plan is a wonderful tool that explains what their medications are, daily medications, as well as quick reliever medications for attacks or exacerbations as Dr. Jackie spoke about. And it's a wonderful communication tool for parents and caregivers to communicate with school or teachers or grandma or grandpa when they're taking care of the child. Such important information. And doctor, what types of asthma medications are really available to those out there? So remember when we talked about the two things that happen in asthma, the inflammation that happens daily, there are medications that can control that inflammation. They are maintenance medications. Mm -hmm. The other is to handle that squeezing that happens often with an attack, and that's really a rescue medication. Those medications can come as a metered dose inhaler or a puffer. Clearly using a metered dose inhaler is more complicated than just taking a pill. So what do people need to know? Well, the first thing they need to know is that it is complicated and that they need to be taught really correctly how to use it. Oftentimes I'll have patients that will come into my office and say, the therapy that you described for my asthma or somebody else prescribed isn't working. Before I go changing them to another type of medication, I'll make sure that they're using it correctly. Because if the medication doesn't actually hit the target of the lungs, then we're not gonna get any sort of relief or effect of the medication. What a valved holding chamber does is help you actually adequately get the medicine to the target. And valved holding chambers are important, not only for children, but also for the elderly. Really anyone who has difficulty with that breath coordination of spraying the medication and getting it into the lungs can benefit from a valved holding chamber. And Tanya, I see you've actually brought one to I show have. us. This is the Aero Chamber Plus Flowview valve holding chamber. Aero Chamber is a prescription only device intended to be used by patients to deliver aerosolized medication for most pressurized MDIs. I have a lot more questions for both of you. And when we come back, we'll learn more about asthma and some tips to help you be sure you're using your inhaler correctly. Don't go away. There's much more to come when the balancing act continues.
We are back and we're continuing our discussion with Dr. Igrari Sabet, founder and medical director of Family Allergy and Asthma Care, and Tanya Winders, CEO of Allergy and Asthma Network, Mothers of Asthmatics. And we're talking about helping make sure your child is getting the asthma medication they need from their inhaler. And these inhalers deliver a puff of medication very fast, sometimes too fast for a child to catch and breathe into their lungs, right? Yes, actually surprisingly, sometimes these sprays can come, can come out at up to 60 miles per hour. Oh my. And what happens is that much of that medication then goes into the roof of the mouth or the back of the throat. And so it's very important that the asthma medications reach the lungs to work correctly and appropriately. And that's how the valve holding chambers help. Very important. And before the break, we spoke about an option called the Aero Chamber Plus Flowview Valve Holding Chamber, which can help patients get the benefit from their treatment by helping to correctly deliver the medication. Doctor, how does this work and what tips do you have about it? So let's break that down. What does valve holding chamber mean? So there's a valve that when you breathe in, you will allow the medication to come into your lungs. The holding chamber will hold the medication. The nice thing is, is that this is engineered so that the medication doesn't stick to the wall of the chamber. When you use it, you'll inhale deeply. If you do that too fast or too hard, there will be a whistle. Think of that like an alarm. It's telling you to slow down. Wow, and Tanya, what can you tell us about the Aero Chamber Plus Flowview valve holding chamber there? So Aero Chamber is the only valve holding chamber that has the Flowview indicator. It shows the inhalation of the medication for both the patient and caregiver. Parents can see the child is receiving their medication, and in fact, it's also BPA free and has the Comfort Seal mask. The mask comes in several different sizes, and although it may look like a toy, it truly is not, and it should never be left unattended with children. There are step-by-step -step instructions on how to use the Aero Chamber Plus Flow View valve holding chamber at aerochambervhc.com. And what do we do for cleaning and maintenance? So the nice thing about the device is that it is dishwasher safe. Great. And in fact, you can take it apart and, and put each piece into the, each component into the dishwasher. And when you do so, the important thing is to remember just to do it on the normal wash cycle. It's important to know that it should not be boiled, sterilized, or clean in a dishwasher at a temperature above 158 degrees because the product may be permanently damaged. In other words, avoid high temperature cycles. Just use the normal, regular wash option. And doctor, is the Aero Chamber obtainable by prescription? Yes, and in fact, you need to know that. You have to ask for that prescription when you go to your next visit. You can get an Aero Chamber usually once every six months. It's covered by almost every insurance. Be sure to replace it at least yearly unless it's broken and then replace it more than that. Good to know. And Tanya, any advice when approaching your doctor? It's so important to discuss the medication, but also the valve holding chamber with your doctor and determine which one is the best one for you. Well, this has been so insightful to me. I don't think this was available years ago when my daughter had asthma. So thank you so much for coming in today and for sharing all this great information with us. Great. Thank you. All right, and if you'd like to learn more, simply visit us at thebalancingact.com or share with us anything related to the topic of asthma, especially if you have a child with asthma and how they're taking their medication by logging on to Facebook forward slash thebalancingactfans.